Hello, I'm Dennis Coughlin. I'm a co-founder and director of iOpen, also known as the Institute for Open Economic Networks, which is located in Cleveland, Ohio. I am passionate about how people relate to one another uh, and how do they build community and uh, grow community and maintain it um, in, in all its shapes and forms. Uh, and through that work that I do with community and economic development, uh, we do uh, civic forums and various other gatherings of people in community. And we're always asked, how do you measure how well a community or an organization is doing in, in its work in, in uh, relationships? And one of the ways that we do that is through social network mapping where we try to visualize how people are connected with one another in community. We asked people uh, what, uh, who, who are the people that they connect with um, and uh, in, in, a, in a number of ways. It's not just who do I, who do I listen to, who, who do I think highly of, it's more who do I, uh, who do I mentor and who mentors me and who do I work with in, in all the things that I do in community. And with that, we ask people, give us a number of names, five names, three, five, eight names of the people who you work closely with. Uh, nowadays, people are usually connecting with more than, than just two or three. Sometimes it's up to 10, but, or even more than that, 20, 30. If, the, if you work in a big community, you will connect with a lot of people. And when we have a gathering of people in a, in a social, uh, social scene of some sort, uh, the civic forum scene, I will ask people, uh, just give me the list of names of the people you connect with. Uh, the software that we use was developed by Valdis Krebs of uh, orgnet.net, uh, and uh, it basically will visualize how all the different connections that we have. When we start with a, with a group of people gathering at a civic forum, uh, the people connect with usually three to five people who are not even in the room. There, there is no connection in the room. But as time goes on, uh, after weeks of, of people working together, there's a certain level of trust that gets built and uh, people start connecting with the people in the room. Also, the people in the room will start introducing they're the people that they're met in the room, they'll introduce them to those people, all those other people who are connected. And the network will continue to grow and get more vibrant um, and, and a deeper connectivity that, that takes place. Uh, my passion is the behaviors that, have, that people do with each other. Yes, the, the social network mapping will show a relationship that, that exists. Uh, I'm more concerned with the trust levels, that the trust that people build with each other uh, through their behaviors. Um, we always had one simple rule is behaving ways that build trust and, and respect. But there's also the, uh, the, the way that we behave that, is an, that there's an accountability, uh, there is collaboration, and there is transparency. And those, those three factors are, are items that, that we seem to have lost in community to some extent. It, it isn't there. There's a, a lack of trust, and it could be fear issues that take place. And um, I'm looking at trying to encourage and grow uh, these behaviors in a, in a community uh, by, by, uh, by modeling behavior and uh, also by, by creating some accountability where we'll call people on their bad behavior uh, if need be, but we don't do it in a way that loses respect on either side. Each one of us needs to save face. Um, and and uh, so you do, it, you do it in a way that is a growing, a, a way that grows people uh, so that they do feel good about themselves, that they're learning, um, but we also need to model this behavior and we need to encourage the modeling by everybody around us. Um, but our social network maps that we have done uh, over the years, we've been doing this social network maps, I think probably we've been doing it for six or seven years at least. Um, well, 
I actually know it's closer to 10 now. Um, but uh, the social network maps uh, in one, one community that we did over many years, it was probably a six year, uh, six year period where we did maps, we could show the growth over a six year as to how a community started just with several, with, with the people that were in the room and then it grew exponentially and became a very thick network of, of connectivity. Um, and uh, we also, we would encourage people to share their, their people that they connected with, with each other.